everybody and welcome to Robin's house. Today we're working on the autumn gnomes, no, well gnomes for autumn, thin cut. So this is a thin cut girl because she has her little pigtails here and I just wanted to show you real quickly how it works. So this is the thin cut with all the shapes on it and this is what they look like once you push them out. So there is a base person and then you just fit everything on. So I, I did the little hat first and then I did the little shirt. You can put the little shoes on. And then there's the two little braids are different. You can see that they have a different side of the head that they touch on. So you just set those down on either side. And then of course the flower goes on top of the flower, but you need to put it on after the hat so that it lines up properly. You have the inside of the little flower. And then I actually, I put the, the stem on first before I put the flower on. And then the last steps is you, this is, this is actually the little nose. So the, the, Instruction has the little nose going under the hat, but I just think it's adorable if the little nose goes above the hat. And you could pop the little nose as well, or uh, sponge the little nose so it's a little darker than the rest of the body. And then what this is, is this is a little hand piece so that the hand can be holding the little flower. So there's a bigger notch, there's a big notch, and then there's a tiny notch. And so the big notch goes at the top of the flower because then it, it kind of looks like you're holding the flower. It's really cool. And then it looks like your little hand is going around it. Hmm. I don't know if there's, it's gonna risk. I don't know if you can see it. See your little hand is going around the flower. So there is a little hand that also um, this little piece, but I didn't find that necessary. So I didn't ever cut it because I, if I thought their little hand was fine. So in the in the image, it has their little hand kind of going over the, the braid, but I, I just, I didn't feel that that was needed. So this little gnome guy is so cute and you can even mix and match it up. So who says your little gnome guy can't be a spring gnome guy? So uh, you can do it however you want, but super cute, lots of fun. Thank you so much for watching. Happy crafting.